So our topic is gender difference in accuracy error in bioelectrical impedance analysis compared to dual energy X-ray optometry in measurement of body composition indices in obese children. According to the WHO, the prevalence of overweight and obesity between the ages of 0 to 5 years increased from 32 million to 41 million from 1990 to 2016 globally. It has been estimated that 10% of school children worldwide are overweight and a quarter of this group are obese. An analysis done in 2014 involving 836 school children in the Gulf municipality area revealed a prevalence of obesity and overweight of 10.3%. Dual energy X-ray absorptometry or the DEXA is the reference standard in the measurement of body composition indices. But its utility is limited due to the high cost expertise required, lack of portability and the restricted availability. Therefore, bioelectrical impedance or the BIA has gained the recognition in resource limited settings for the measurement of body composition indices in screening our children uh, for childhood obesity. So the objective of the study was to determine the concordance between the BIA and the DEXA in the assessment of body composition in obese children. The study protocol was approved by the Ethics Review Committee of the Faculty of Medicine, University of Rona, and 97 children, 57 boys, aged 5 to 15 years, who had a BMI of equal or more than 85th percentile for age and gender based on the CDC 2000 growth charts were recruited. Written informed consent was taken from the parents. Children were examined prior to the con commencement of the study and were confirmed as healthy. And children with dysmorphic syndromes and those who were obese due to iatrogenic causes, causes were excluded from the study. Height was measured with a wall-mounted stadiometer and the weight was measured with an electronic weighing scale and the BMI was calculated as weight divided by height squared. The body fat mass and the fat-free mass were measured with a DEXA scan and the whole body impedance was measured by a foot-to-foot -foot BIA analyzer. Independent t-test was used to compare subjects characteristics and the standard error estimate or the SEE was used to determine the degree of accuracy error of BIA compared to the DEXA. Boys and girls were not different with regard to age, weight, height, BMI, and body composition indices, except for the fat mass by BMI. And this was a significant difference that you can see in the fat mass of boys and girls, a significant difference, whereas the other parameters, there was no significant difference. With regard to the mean ST difference of and the 95th cons confidence intervals between the measurement by the DEXA and the BI, you can see that the significant difference between the boys but there was no significant difference in the girls, especially with the fat mass and the fat-free mass in boys, which was statistically significant. When mean differences were reanalyzed according to the gender, the difference were narrowed and not significant among girls, while they were wider and significant among boys, indicating that the accuracy error is more and mainly confined to boys. This is further highlighted by the higher SEE seen among boys compared to girls. This BA plots also gives evidence for the above statement. Boys have an accuracy error in the measurement of body composition indices measured with BIA compared to the reference standards DEXA. This is evident by the higher mean difference and higher accuracy errors observed in the boys and this was not observed in girls. So in conclusion, although BIA can be considered a viable alternative for DEXA for measurement of body compositions in obese children, the gender difference in BIA accuracy needs to be considered when interpreting the results. Uh, these were the references and I would like to thank all the parents and children who participated in this study and all the officials from the, uh, the Faculty of Medicine, University of Rona and Teaching Hospital Karapetia for their assistance. Faculty of Medicine, University of Rona is acknowledged for the financial assistance faculty research grant provided for the financial assistance. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Isla. Open for discussion. Yes, uh, now, uh, as I said, uh, the B we have two methods, the BIA and the DEXA. Now, DEXA is a fairly big machine, like a CT machine, but it does not have much radiation, but it is fixed to a room where the children has to come there. 
where the BIA, of course, there are different sets of machines, but some of the machines are like a weighing scale where you can take it to the school and do the measurement. So it's much uh, easier in using, especially for uh, research things, uh, because it is very mobile and you can take it to that place and do it. And it's user friendly as well, because the DEXA machines like a CT machine and children get afraid of it. And there is a worry about, uh, in DEXA, there's a worry about radiation as well, although we scientifically know that the radiation is very minimal. It's like taking a tooth x-ray or it's like going to a beach in some of the countries where there's a bit of radiation. So the radiation is minimal, but the parents are scared and the children are also scared. Number three is that it's just there in one place and the children will have to come for that particular place. So for uh, um, research purposes where you do studies with a lot of children, it, there's a practical difficulty in doing DEXA than the BA. So BA is a practical way of getting out of that problem. That's actually a very good, that's, yeah, so you're asking why the BIA has uh, changed compared to the DEXA. Now DEXA is taken as a gold standard, although CT and MRI is also taken as gold standard. Of course, it's very obvious that these things are not possible for long uh, studies with a lot of children. So for your question that uh, you asked uh, where, why BIA has that difference, exact reason is not known. We are still studying, but the, 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 the way that it analyzes the body fat in the DEXA and the CTMR is almost the same, whereas in BIA it's a different method because BIA it sees the electrical impedance that goes through the body and how it crosses. That might be one of the reasons, but it still cannot explain why the difference between the males and the females. So it's uh, not very clear in the literature as well why it exactly is, but it's a finding. It is uh, applying the impedance into the calculation. So that means it's an international equation. It is not a validated one for the local current. It is not a validated uh, thing for Sri Lanka. So I think yes. that is one of the reasons why, for the answer to Asela's question, is because it has been shown that the international equations does not uh, do a proper assessment analysis of the local body composition, and uh, you have to get the raw data from that time. Do a yes, thank you. So that's one of the reasons, actually, because even when we check the B, uh, BMI, it is not our standards that we have. It is the international standards that we have. So our study is part of it that we are going to look at whether our body fat masses are different from the other people in other areas of the uh, the world. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Yes.